What's up everyone? Jeff with Berm Donor Pythons. Today I'm going to show you what I do when I get a rescue animal. Uh, someone reached out to me on Facebook about a baby Burmese python. Uh, they said they got it as a rescue. They don't have time for it, so they called me. It turns out that this animal is a, I would say it's over a year old, very dehydrated, has some stuck shed on it, don't look like it had a good meal in quite some time. So I'm here today to show you what I do when I get an animal like this in. So first of all, here is the snake. Um, you can't quite see her that well because she's in this Rubbermaid right now. When I went to pick her up, I got this Rubbermaid and I sprayed the inside of it with Preventamite. It's not gonna hurt the animal. I do it just to, well, exactly like the name says, prevent any mites. I never saw this snake. I don't know the conditions that it was kept in. I treat them as if they have mites before they go anywhere near the reptile room. So first things first, get a tub, prevent a mite, disinfectant, and that's where she's been since I brought her home. Now, this tub here, we are gonna give her a bath. I use warm water. And you want to put just enough in to where it covers the sides and just up the back of the snake. So they are able to get their head out of water if need be. That's probably plenty good. I take my temp gun. That's still a little warm. We'll give it some time to cool off. Usually right around 90 degrees is where I like to keep the water temperature. Another thing, pure blue Dawn dish soap. Just a little bit of that, that's all. That kind of makes like a film in the water. And if there is any external parasites, mites, anything like that, it will suffocate them. We'll let that cool off here in a second. All right, now that the water is at the right temperature, 89, 90 degrees, now you can kind of see this girl is very dehydrated, lots of stuck shed. So this nice little bubble bath we prepared for her is going to do her wonders. I don't know the temperament of this animal. Very skinny. Now I'm gonna do this, she might not like this water. put her in there and that's where she'll stay see how that water you can see the water line right here it's about where you want it and then she can lay her head on her back and keep it up out of the water but we'll keep her in there for a couple hours and get her cage prepped all right so the albino berm has been soaking for about two hours. I'm gonna pull her out. It is a female. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. Uh, see if any of that stuck shed came off. I got a simple enclosure here. Um, just a hide, paper, water bowl, and a heat lamp. Uh, I'm keeping her in a tank right now. I don't have a quarantine rack. 
So she's going to stay in a tank for a while until I get her eating good and I know she's healthy and everything's going good. So let's see how, uh, how her bath went. So there she is all soaked. I don't know what kind of temperament this girl has. She did fine for me earlier, but now she's warmed up and nice and soaked. If she does have any stuck shed on her, I will help pull that off now that it's nice and damp. And should peel right off of her. I can still see some on her sides there. I'm gonna sanitize my hands here and get her taken care of quick. Alrighty, well, we got her in her temporary enclosure. As you can see, she looks beautiful. Nice bright orange albino pattern like she's supposed to have. There was quite a bit of shed that I need to pull off. Um, all of that that's a good sign a little bit of urate and a little bit of poop I mean she's passing everything just fine as you can tell she's very thin uh, gonna get a couple meals in this girl here shortly but yeah we'll have her cleaned up in no time as long as she eats good for us so if you have any questions, comment, message me, follow on Instagram at the underscore berm donor. That's where most of my reptile and snake and Burmese Python content is at. I am on Facebook under my regular name, Jeff Schultz. But feel free to reach out, like, follow, comment share this video hopefully this helps somebody but yeah stay tuned i'll give an update on her shortly later on